When trying to locate the source of a recently discovered oil leak, very few people think much about the power steering system of their car. More specifically, few drivers are aware of the gradual leakage that can occur in a car's rack and pinion. Not only are these issues annoying, but they are also surprisingly common. Learn more about rack and pinion leaks in the video, as well as what to do if your car ever experiences one. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Signs of a leaking A rack and pinion leak frequently starts out with a number of telltale symptoms. Even though not all of these symptoms will occur in every instance, they are common enough to be mentioned. The most typical signs of a leaky rack and pinion include the ones listed below. Unusual noises when turning When turning from one direction to the next, there may be an audible noise that could be a sign of a rack and pinion leak. This noise, which is typically caused by excessive power steering fluid loss, is frequently described as a hum or whine. This fluid loss causes the power steering system to errate, which results in a variety of odd symptoms. Power steering fluid can vanish at a number of locations throughout the system. While leaks from hose damage or a malfunctioning pump can be cleared up, the rack and pinion itself is also questionable. You can focus your search by giving the rack and pinion a close examination. Oily spots in driveway Any vehicle with an active rack and pinion leak quickly accumulates power steering fluid along the underbody. This oil adheres to the rack and pinion as well as any nearby components that it is blown onto. Gravity then spreads this power steering fluid across the driveway or parking lot below when a car is parked. As a result, the sudden appearance of oily spots in a driveway is a good sign that something is wrong. Even though a leaky rack and pinion may not be to blame, it merits closer examination. Need to top off power steering fluid. The amount of fluid in the power steering system decreases as a result of fluid loss caused by a leaking rack and pinion gasket. The severity of the leak itself directly affects how quickly this fluid is consumed. Fluid leaks can occasionally happen gradually over several months. Fluid loss can occur in other, more severe situations much more suddenly. During routine maintenance, if your power steering fluid appears to be lower than usual, a close examination of your car's rack and pinion will be necessary. This is especially true if you have never before noticed that the power steering fluid reservoir in your car was low on fluid. Tough steering in some cases, a leak in the rack and pinion will have a negative effect on a car's steering. This typically happens when too much fluid has leaked out of the system, allowing aeration to happen. These issues could even be accompanied by audible humming or whining, like the one mentioned above. In some cases, a vehicle's power steering fluid level can be simply topped off to return the steering to normal. However, in more severe cases, steering might not significantly improve, particularly if overheating has happened as a result of extended periods of operation without enough fluid. Only a complete replacement of a vehicle's rack and pinion system will fix the problem in such circumstances. Common Causes The most common reason for power steering rack leaks is seal failure. This results from the fact that a car's rack and pinion is subject to extremely high hydraulic pressure, which creates numerous opportunities for leakage to occur. Simply put, even the slightest flaw in any of the seals on a rack and pinion will cause significant leaks of pressurized fluid. Three main seals are typically present in a rack and pinion assembly, one at the steering shaft inlet junction and two at the assembly's outboard ends. These three seals have all been known to leak under specific conditions especially as they get older and start to show wear. Inevitably, a seal's rubber construction degrades over time. This deterioration frequently takes the form of cracking and dry rot. Rubber seals may also dry out and contract, raising issues with unseating. In any event, when exposed to high-pressure power steering fluid, the true extent of such damage is quickly revealed. Repair versus Replacement The vast majority of the time, replacing an entire rack and pinion assembly is far more cost-effective than attempting to fix isolated fluid leaks within the unit. Although this may seem counterintuitive when taking into account the cost of a new rack and pinion, the labor costs involved in rack and pinion repair are frequently greater. Because of this, the actual cost of rack and pinion replacement and repair is comparable. With this in mind, it stands to reason that, if there is little to no discernible price difference, one would be better off buying a brand new rack and pinion rather than simply repairing their worn-out assembly. Furthermore, a brand new rack and pinion will frequently include a warranty, but a rack that has been repaired is unlikely to be covered by one of these agreements. This alone represents a significant value and gives you additional peace of mind. Hope the information was helpful for you. Perfect.